great afternoon here in Perth Park and uh, we have one last really important part of the afternoon to do which will be uh, the switching on of the Christmas lights which I know some of them are already on in Perth Park but the important bit is that today we're going to light the tree and here in Perth Park after this wonderful Winter Wonderland event we've got a great firework display and the firework display is going to be behind you so don't worry about moving to the right place because you're in the right place now. Have you had a good afternoon? Oh good, have you all been in the craft tent, bought some food and seen Santa? Who's seen Santa? How, ma how many of the boys and girls went to see Santa in this tent? They all went, there was a massive queue, I couldn't get in. Wouldn't let me in. Right, so before we go any further, we just have a, a very important couple of messages we'd like to do. Uh, and we've got some important people that I need to introduce. We have some uh, of our local councillors who will represent the area, uh, make sure things are happening in the area for us correctly. So, uh, who, who's going to speak first? Nobody. Oh, okay, uh, I'll do it. Can I show you? Uh, uh, first of all, I need a round of applause because this is uh, Councillor Peter Price, who everybody knows because he rides, he rides bikes and sits in Bath and Maggots. Hi, everybody. Welcome again to our uh, annual winter festival. Brilliant. We've been a bit different this year because normally, as you remember, it was Friday night and kids came from school. This time we've decided on a Sunday. Bit of controversy there, but I think there's been a massive turnout today. It's been brilliant. In spite of the cold and freezing, it's been packed. And so we want to welcome the Lord Mayor, Peter Rippon, who's one of our councillors as well, and our, a member of Parliament. So I'm going to hand over to, uh, to, to the Lord Mayor to make a few, say a few words before he inviting David, David to do the plunge for the fireworks. Pete. Good afternoon everybody. Uh, can I thank uh, Trinity Firth Park and the Firth Park Festival Committee for all the hard work that they put in, not just on this event, but all year round. I mean, apart from organising this to do the Summer Festival, so can you put your hands together for the Firth Park Festival Committee and Friends of Firth Park. And just before I finish, could I just ask you to put your hands together for our MP, David Blunkey, who will be standing down next year after is it 28 years David of, of really serving and working hard for this community let's put your hands together for a big thank you to David Punky and this is just a bit of a surprise David because as Peter's just said you're standing down after serving this community fantastically for the last 28 years and they've asked me uh, of all people to just make a little presentation to you to thank you from the Friends of Firth Park, from the Festival Organising Committee and from all your friends in the community for the wonderful work that you've done, the friendship that you've shown to the community and the hard work that you've put in in making sure that government hears the people from here's voice, how, what a great representative you've been and they've asked me to do a presentation of a box to you, David, as a way of thanking you, and also the schmackos off of the dog. So thank you very much, David, and we're really, really proud of you. Now, first of all, Lord Mayor, I thought the schmackos were for me, and uh, I thought the box was to carry me away in. Um, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, a very big thanks to those who have organised once again, putting an enormous effort in to make this possible. Uh, and I really appreciate that, including what you do, Chris, uh, on making sure that we can actually be heard and, uh, and seen. Uh, I'm the ghost of Christmas past, and Harry Harpham is the ghost of Christmas still to come. So I want us to all tonight to celebrate the beginning of Christmas proper to say to the children enjoy yourselves and to say to all of you thank you so much for those of you who have supported me over the last 28 years I couldn't have done any of what I've done without you I've really appreciated it I'm not leaving Sheffield I've not died so I will be carrying on doing things I just will be a bit closer to the community rather than having to spend so much time in London Thank you for everything you're doing, and now's the time to do the plunger. And we need to count down. Right, are you ready? Let's do ten. Hang on, I've got to hang on. I've got to hang on. 
Oh, and I've got to keep speaking. And I've got to keep speaking by saying, if you think this is a cold winter, just think what it would be like if the Tories win next year. Uh, there'll be no locks for the fire. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. The fireworks, as always, in the first half, phenomenal. Uh, and I will just say that we use uh, a local supplier for all as much of this event as we can. And the uh, the firework people we use are very locally based, and they're, they're an international company. They do jobs all over the world, and they come to us and help us at Fair Park. And I think they're brilliant because they bring us so much uh, so much firework display that we just couldn't afford without their help. Uh, there's lots of help and people go to get this event together. The uh, the festival committee work hard in hand in hand with the friends of Fir Park and of course the local area uh, councillors and everybody else that's involved with it. We've had help this year from the big lottery fund, I've got to tell you about that. We've also had help this year from um, the community first funding and we've had lots of help throughout the year uh, from the Grace Trust and various other great organisations who make things happen. The important bit is you good people make it happen please visit the traders and spend some money with them if you can because that's essential and thanks to all the councillors for being here today and of course the Lord Mayor of Sheffield Councillor Peter Rippon and our very very best friend in the world uh, MP uh, Mr David Blunkett. Again, of candy canes and silver lanes that glow. 